So, here's just a quick video about how I took the Petoskey stone that we found on the beach up at the Petoskey State Park this last week. Um, polished them up and uh, made them look fairly shiny with most things, well, you might have to buy some sandpaper, but that's about it. Um, so what we're going to need today is just a tub with some water, some 220, some 400, and some uh, 2000 grit sandpaper, and we'll be doing some uh, wet sanding with these three. This is just a last case resort if you have some um, some nicks or uh, channels or cracks in the stone that are going to be really hard to get out with the sandpaper. The 220 will take you quite a while to get them. Uh, I just did spend a couple minutes sanding with the 120 just to get the major uh, cracks out of there. There's actually a hole here. It's kind of hard to see um, and you don't see it until you actually let it dry. So what you can do is you just wipe it off with a paper towel. Uh, blow on it for a few seconds and the rock goes dry and you'll start to see all the actual the white specks are actually the imperfections that we need to uh, sand out so letting it dry I've seen I have a few more gouges a few more bigger areas that I need to get rid of um, and so we'll go ahead and do that we're back still with the 120 grit and I've got all the major edges knocked out so what I'm going to do is head back to the 220 grit and we're just going to Start, start sanding it, and the whole stone is then the whole stone is going to be have to be sanded at this point to get you that perfectly smooth edge, and then we'll uh, we'll dry it and we'll look at it again, and we'll come back to the 220 if we need to again, which we most likely will. Turn on the 220, and I'm not going to lie, I went back to the 120 for a while uh, just to get some of the deep reports out because I just couldn't seem to get it. So we're going to do another dry and check again just to make sure we got all the imperfections so they don't come through on our finish. We got one right there still. One right there, and then a few down in here, and one right here. Top and bottom look okay. So we'll get those taken care of, and then we'll move on. At this point, what we have is a stone that is starting to look like Petoskey, not shiny yet, but uh, we've taken it and. Uh, sanded it and your stone should just be hazy. You shouldn't really see any major white specks besides just the natural uh, lines of the fossil. Um, some things you're not going to be able to sand out just because they're just they're just plain too deep. Um, but this stone is ready to move on. So what we're going to do is we're going to step up to the uh, 400 grit sandpaper and we're going to wet sand this for a little bit. Shouldn't take too long and we should see some results. To 400 grit for a while, and your stone should, while it's wet, look have that mirror appearance. And uh, basically, the stone should be all smooth to your touch. You should see no imperfection. Basically, imperfections will show up as white specks on your stone or white dots. Uh, so, we're going to dry this, and I just want to show you how it looks dry. So get backed out there you go so you can actually see all the shapes just doesn't have the mirror finish so we're gonna move on to the 2000 grit paper here wet sand this for a bit been polishing for a little while and this is still wet well let's dry it and see how it looks when we actually have a dry piece we'll see how the 2000 grit came out So here's a dry piece, not quite a mere finish, but uh, not too bad. You can see all the texturing. I'm sure if I was to go a little more with it, we'd get a little nicer polish, but uh, it's not terrible. So, all right, that's it. I hope that's helpful. Uh, just uh, step it up piece by piece. Um, starting from here, you're going to you have to get all the rough spots out, and I would actually use the 120 grit if you have it. It will save you some time. Um, 120, 220, 400, and then jump up to your 2000, and uh, if you want, I'm sure you could even use some car buffing compound on or something like that and make it maybe even shinier. So, hope that's helpful.